morning or evening, friends. What is happening, wise ones? It is your boy, JP, here with Wise Guys Gaming, and I'm going to bring you just a little bit of this anthem. This is from the anthem demo. If you played it, you... Oh, that's just wrong. He's right, it is wrong. Uh, you got a chance to experience this. Um, this is not the first time I've went gone through this, but I did get lost. For whatever reason, You're not that little plunge into that pool there gets really dark for me, and I, I can't tell what's going on. Like, not in the least. But that's fine. The game uh, actually looks for that and gives you the opportunity to uh, kind of load in with the rest of your squad. I think that's a very neat tool. Be unprofessional to cut the link, right? Uh oh. Highly. Damn it. Next time, I expect big ass bugs to be in the mission briefing. You have to show up for that to help. I agree. That thing is cool. Good. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Anthem. I will be picking it up because this was probably one of, if not the most fun demos I have ever played. OMG, did I have so much fun with this? I'm about to do some about super, Superman. Yeah! Missiles! Alright, so you have your exosuit. You are in your exosuit. You get to travel around this very nice world. Everything looks great. Um, that's something that's really interesting for me. Um, watching the game now as opposed to playing the game. When you play the game, you have a lot of other stuff on your mind, so you aren't really paying attention. But when you go back and look at the game or watch somebody else play it, yo, this game is gorgeous. Like, words cannot be expressed. Plus, there's an awful lot of customization as to how you choose your uh, character. And also, I think there's a lot of avenues. Check this out. Ah, uh, not yet. But check out that damage when it starts getting on there, man. Mm, we finna start hitting. But you can uh, change the way your exo loot looks. You can change the way your, um, you know, the kind of abilities you have and that type of thing. For example, you'll see me use that little arm laser. I'll point it out next time I use it. Uh, you'll see me use that a lot. I stuck with that one because it looked ridiculous. <laughs> and I was like, I think I want to try that just in case. Uh, they also have like seeker missiles and all kinds of stuff. That's it right there, that little laser. Actually does pretty good damage. Uh, it's a good DPS tool. Um, you move very well in this game. I think that oh. And you can get stepped on. That, that's important too. It's good to know that. But I think the they did a good job programming the movement of this game. Oh, that's disgusting. But you always feel like mobile. With the exception of the tank. I actually have to look into how to play the tank properly because you don't have all the movement options that you have on your character. He is meant to be slow and beefy. He is meant to not be able to uh, get around very much, but he is absolutely tank. Yeah, baby. Yeah, do that damage. Um, this is the ranger character, or ranger class. As you see, I get the little dashes, I get my runs. I can fly. He can fly, he can fly, he can fly, he can fly. Let me tell you, the flight mode in this game is actually very fun. It took a second to get a kind of a hang of it, but once you do, it's kind of intuitive. It plays really, really well. And I think that's kind of what makes this game more so than anything else. The various ways that you move in your exosuit, like right there where he starts running, you know, thrusters spark up. You absolutely feel as though you're in an exosuit, but it also makes you feel powerful. Like, I feel strong in a way that I don't in most other games in this game. For example, I, I feel like um, Halo 1. You know, when you first start playing Halo, that very first one, that's the kind of thing you... When you kind of walked in and you saw the other Space Marines, and before they start introduce, look at that damage. Ooh. Him again. Oh. When you first walked in playing Halo, and um, you got to play Master Chief, and you see all the Space Marines running around, and you get to just walk up to an elite and punch him in his face, that felt good. This game feels good in that same way. Um, 
There are lots of other men, uh, enemies that are stronger than you, and you get that sense pretty quick. Uh, but you never feel like you don't have a chance, right? You always feel like there's a bit of power. And I really like the way they do that. Um, pretty sick. Pretty sick. I enjoyed it a lot, and I can't wait for the game to come out. I already got some folks to say they're going to pick it up. Uh, this is a game that makes me want to upgrade my TV even faster. <laughs> Ooh. Got webbed. Stuck here, waiting on help. Tyrant goes down. If you look on the bottom right hand corner, you see that little yellow bar that's flashing. That is me showing that my special, or my ultimate, or whatever you want to call it, uh, is available. And that's where the Iron Man rockets start pouring out of my suit. Don't cry! Yeah! You don't want out of him. Got the little ones coming up. No, you didn't want it. <laughs> you didn't want it. Uh, I do not have a very good loadout for this particular fight. Uh, I didn't quite know what all was, it was going to entail. I think I had done it at one point, but either the server went down or something like that. And that's going to be a problem with this game. Um, I think they have server issues. But I'd like to think that they went through enough and got enough flat for it. I mean, people destroyed them for server issues. But it's a beta. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do in a beta is figure out what works, what doesn't work. That makes sense to me at least. So hopefully they have the servers fixed by the time the game launches. Uh, I won't be playing it immediately because I have to go take the test. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to squatting up. Am I gonna use the? Okay, that little move there is a little dome that I put up. That didn't. Those missiles didn't look that cool at all. Either. That dome that I put up is a very uh. You can customize it based off how you want your character. The one that I have is a rally point. Everybody in the dome actually does more damage. That's why I wanted to do that and then do the ultimate from the side of it. But it even though it dies is unnerving. Uh, well, I don't have any fears that would take me to forget that. Like, I'm gonna go with eight. One for each of the tyrant's legs. Uh, no more scorpion talk, please. <laughs> I also like the banter they put in there. I think that's really neat. Yeah. So that's it, uh, that's the, I don't know if that's the full Tyrant mission or if it's just the end of the Tyrant mission, I think it's just the end, but it's a lot of fun, um, again, look forward to seeing more from me as far as this goes, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as keeping this channel the way it is, I, I have a lot of things I wanna play and I wanna share with you guys, um, I do want to remain a fighting game centric channel, um, but, I mean, there's other stuff I want to do. So I don't know if I'm going to create another channel just for the other stuff or how I'm going to play it. Um, but hey, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a tank. You got a tank. I think that's a storm standing next to the tank. And that's me in the middle on the left. I think we had two storm it looked like. Got them badges. Uh, I didn't get the most badges. Tank was doing work though, putting in some work. Yeah, boy. Either way, game is a lot of fun. If you didn't get a chance to play it, um, I would say rent it from Gamefly or something, or either just go pick it up. If you enjoy Destiny, um, games like that, I think you will enjoy this game. It does, to me at least, feel an awful lot like Destiny. However, it feels better. I don't know how to quantify that, but it feels better. Like, it feels more solid, more fluid. Everything you really need from Destiny, you got in this game. I don't see how Destiny survives this game, to be honest with you. Unless the story is bad and the uh, the servers are bad, but this game has everything it takes. I'm looking forward to it. But that should be about it from this one. I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, wise ones! Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you taking your time to hang out with me today. If you like the video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you find exciting and what you're looking forward to as well. If you want to see more videos like this, more gaming content coming from Wise Guys Gaming, take a look at the subscribe button, be sure to hit that bell for notifications, we'll let you know as soon as things roll off the presses. If you do enjoy the music that is coming on here, please take a look at the band The Rules of Chernobyl. 
Check out their album, Eschatology. Very good. I recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Peace out.